Hey, folks, welcome back to Rugby of Senate. This is Chris in Central Pennsylvania, and I have a special guest today with me from Rugby Atlanta, the, the Rattlers there, Rugby ATL down there, and he's a Kiwi. Uh, we have had a few Kiwis on the program, so it's time for another Kiwi, and this is, uh, now, bear with me, because I want to make sure I don't butcher the young man's name. We want to make sure I get this straight. So it's Te Rangatira Waitokia. How'd I do? Yeah, perfect. That's good. <laughs> Excellent. Well, listen, you're, you're a young guy on the team there, but you got a lot of experience already. You've been playing uh, for Manawatu, the Turbos there for what, like four years, something like that in Palmerston North back in, in New Zealand. Yep, that's correct. Yep. So last year was my fourth season um, in the Martin Cup. So yeah, I guess you could say I'm, I'm young in this team, but I mean, when I was back home, I'd say I was like, I, I felt kind of old anyway, especially in our environment. I was probably like the second or third oldest back in our team last year. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good Lord. That's old before your time, I guess, at least from that perspective. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's interesting. I noticed that, um, you know, with sponsorship, things are always changing. I've got a custom calling it the Mitre 10, but now I guess it's the Bunnings uh, National Provincial Championship or something like that. I think they renamed it. Yeah, they have renamed it. Yeah. Um, I think it is. I'm, I'm not too sure exactly what it is, but I'm pretty sure it's it's Bunnings now. Yeah, so, I, I mean, it's, yeah. <laughs> four years or so. The comp name always seems to change for some reason. <laughs> it's well, it's sponsorship. It's whoever pays the most yeah. money, I guess. But yeah, you get accustomed to saying Mitre Ten. That's what we heard for a long time there. So uh, you, you're playing now for Rugby Atlanta over here, Major League Rugby, and it's got to be a bit different than Mitre Ten. That's a long established situation over there in New Zealand. And uh, before we get to that, though, you know, it's uh, you talk about being old. I think you're what, 24? Is that you're 24? Did I get that right? Okay, 25. Okay, you turned 25. So, but, but I mean, you know, I suppose you are old in terms of New Zealand rugby because, um, you know, when children are born, uh, they're issued with nappies and a rugby ball at birth, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, correct. Yeah, that's, yeah, definitely. And I suppose uh, with the New Zealand rugby lately, like a lot of boys come straight from school into the scene. Or when, like, they, they usually start professional footy in their early 20s when they're about 20, 19. And then so obviously when you get to about 25, you've already had, you know, four, four at least four years' experience in Martin Cup. So so that's probably why I, why I feel old. But then obviously it's good to come back here and, you know, I'm probably more on the young side of things. <laughs> oh, definitely. <laughs> that's for sure. You got a few plus 30s on that squad. But uh, yeah. <laughs> definitely, definitely a young guy. So how, how did this come about? How did you come from playing Mitre 10 to, to playing for Rugby Atlanta? Did like somebody scout you or somebody recommend you? How did this, how did this happen? I mean, I, I, I wouldn't have realized that we're, we're drawing players from, from New Zealand uh, and from Mitre 10 to play in the U.S., but I've seen it this year. So how did it come about for you? I guess I've always wanted to, because obviously Mitre 10 Cup is the back end of the year. So, and this comp's usually at the start, obviously. So I thought after the Martin Cup, I've always wanted to experience America and kind of check out the lifestyle and live here. And I mean, this competition is just the perfect avenue for that. Um, for that. So I just spoke to my agent and then asked if there was any opportunities over here. And then um, Scott, back, Scott got back to him. So I just thought it was a perfect opportunity to come over here and play some code and um, check out America. Well, I'd have to say that that is interesting because I know a lot of people around the world always want to get the opportunity to either visit the States or maybe live here for a bit and experience yeah. the culture. And of course, we have a lot of cultures in this country, but, you know, American culture is such a thing. But, uh, you know, in the past, without without professional rugby over here, it's only been touring teams or if someone made a national side like the All Blacks or Springboks or something like that. You might get a chance yeah. on the occasional test match in the U.S. But now with Major League Rugby, this opens up a lot of doors to people around the world if they want to come over and experience the States who are rugby players. Yeah, definitely. And I, I think that's, well, because like I said, I mean, a lot of people back in New Zealand, uh, you know, they're stuck in the American culture, the basketball and the, the music and all that kind of jazz. And obviously with the movies and the big, like, uh, New York City, Times Square and all those kind of places, um, a lot of people from New Zealand want to come over and experience that. So then for this opportunity, for this competition to go forward, um, it just opened a lot of opportunities for that. And I think it's going to attract more and more each year, especially from New Zealand anyway, to come to this comp because they get to experience the lifestyle as well, um, as well as playing um, a bit of footy as well. 
Well, along those lines, what's your experience been like so far with Rugby Atlanta? It's been an interesting season thus far. You guys had a long winning streak there. Tough game last week. Somebody was going to win that game. It was going to be Rooney or it was going to be the Rattlers. Uh, unfortunately yeah. for ATL, it was Rooney in the end. But uh, you guys played really well uh, at, at a lot of that game. So what's the experience been like for you with Rugby this season? Uh, it's been good. Obviously different from Martin Cup, but um, the good thing about here in Atlanta is that we've got so many different cultures and different rugby backgrounds. So it's always it's always good to get different perspectives of the game. Obviously, we've got a few boys from a lot of boys from South Africa and stuff who played quality footy as well. And then we've got some um, American players and some Canadian players. So for me, it's just a, a, it's just an eye opener to get different perspectives um, from the game. And then especially tie that all into to one team and one culture. I think it's I think it's awesome. And I think it just broadens your game a little bit more. Well, I think that's a fair point. One of the points I've I've been sharing with people is I think one of the strengths of the rugby Atlanta this season or ATL has been this um, this cosmopolitan approach. As you mentioned, you've got Matt Heaton from Canada, you've got you've got South Africans all over the place, you've got Kiwis, Americans on the team, and people coming from very different rugby backgrounds and gelling as a team. It's I really think on the pitch it, it's played out. And you guys have uh, now you guys are uh, you guys are known for defense. Uh, although uh, last week and there's a lot of offense in the game, but but uh, you know for defense, but uh, you're kind of the guy that likes to get up the pitch and attack and 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 move that ball up there, but you're uh, pretty adept at playing fullback or on the wing and also center. Do you have a favorite position? And 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 given Atlanta's focus on defense, what, would you like to run more, or are you pretty comfortable with how it is? I'm pretty comfortable with with where I am at the moment and where um, Stephen Scott wants me to play at center, um, especially being a. Um, they want me to be a like ball distributing center in the middle of the park to try to get it to the edges to the likes of. Uh, Missile and Mark O'Keefe and Rory and let those boys kind of do their magic out in the channels. So at the moment, I'm fine with where I am. Um, usually I play in the outside channels back back in New Zealand, fullback and wing. Uh, but coming over here, like I said, I, I think I only played like one game in Maritina Centre last year. But coming over here and being thrown into that role, I think it's helped my overall game and seeing the, seeing the game from a different perspective, obviously being more uh, central um, I think it's helped myself a lot. And, yeah, I wouldn't really – I'd probably say 15, 15 would probably be my favourite position. But like I said, we've still got – we've got the likes of Adrian who can cover that and then we've got Rory there who does an awesome job back there as well. So I'm just happy where the team um, needs me. Well, it seems to be working out pretty well. You do a good job distributing things there. And as you said, you get a different view of the game from that position. Yeah. So, so probably um, – even though you're an old guy, not really an old guy, <laughs> but you're, you're learning a lot more about the game from being in a different position and, 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 and broadening your skills, I think. So that's probably good, probably a good sign for you when you play back in New Zealand. Definitely, definitely. Cause obviously when you're stuck out on the outside channels, you don't really see how, obviously because I'm not a center, I never really got to see what it's like in the middle and, you know, the specific comms the centers need from the outsides and stuff. So then obviously when I make the transitions back to 15 or the wing, then I'm able to um, give those clear communications and what centres need in order to get the ball to the width and stuff. So I think that's helped my game heaps playing um, centre over here. Well, we're about to approach the uh, international test season here, the summer test for uh, for our national sides. A lot of talk about uh, because the pandemic things going on, how schedules have been shifted and teams have been able to play. We, we, we a lot of talk about England's summer test series. The Eagles, of course, because we're here in the U.S., they're talking about that. A little bit about Canada. A fair amount of talk about South Africa because the uh, the uh, Wayne Webb Ellis Trophy winners haven't been on the pitch since that game against England in 2019. I haven't seen a lot of talk about the All Blacks. Uh, can you give us a little uh, inside baseball, a little secret stuff? Um, uh, who are they playing? Uh, do you know who the All Blacks going to be playing coming up in this test series? Or test playing, season? Uh, Fiji and Tonga. I think I think they're only playing three games. I only know those are the two teams that I know are definite as Tonga and Fiji. They may be playing Fiji twice or Tonga twice. I'm not, I'm not too sure. But I, I definitely know they're playing those two teams. Well, that makes sense. Pacific Island nations makes the sense. Yeah. I mean, you know, let's be honest, half the, half the All Blacks are from Pacific Islands anyway. So, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Sorry, I could I could help get that in. It is full disclosure, Tay. I, I I'm a lifelong Springbok supporter, so you know, so they know where that's coming from. <laughs> anyway, well, it it has been an interesting season for you thus far. Um, hoping to make the playoffs, I imagine. And uh, are are you? Are, which which your plans? Um, if if the opportunity is there, are, are you going to want to come back to Major League Rugby? You want to stick with it and keep playing in New Zealand and here on this side of the world? Yeah, definitely. So the plan is to go back home and hopefully play some more Mighty Ten Cup, and then and then obviously assess throughout the season. Um, but I'll definitely be keen to come back. I mean, I, I like this comp. I'm liking this comp a lot, and I'm liking the lifestyle and everything. So yeah, I'd definitely be interested in coming back to this competition in the future. Well, that's brilliant, and I think that uh, a lot of folks would be happy to see you back in a, in a Rattlers uniform. But congratulations on a very interesting season so far, and also for signing with Atlanta and 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 your play there. And good luck back in uh, New Zealand. Uh, it's a fascinating place. You know, you talk about New Zealanders uh, always gravitating towards American culture. I get that. Uh, when I went to the World Cup in 2011, the first place to stop eat was a Wendy's. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But I did experience New Zealand culture. I just I was yeah. hungry. It was hungry. Yeah. It was safe. I knew what to expect. That's why I stopped there. <laughs> awesome. Yes. Anyway, thanks a lot, and uh, best of luck the rest of the season. Cool. Thank you.